Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Sharon's Home and Garden. Today we're going to be showing you some of my flowers that I've planted and also some herbs for herb plugs. So stick around and I will see you in 30 seconds. So these flowers I planted a couple weeks ago and they're all doing pretty well. Some of them like this one has not germinated. But let me show you how I went about planting these. So this particular seed tray I bought last year and I didn't really use it. Two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can get 50 plants in here. So I'm going to plant five of each of these and put them all in here. So let's get going. Before I plant these, I check out the back of all of them. One of these had to be refrigerated. This. And I threw it in the freezer actually for three weeks it's been in there. So that has already been done. So as I look at the back as I look at these, like this one says, barely cover seeds. So we're going to do that one first. So that one is done. So now I'm going to do that for all the rest of these. Okay. So there we go. We got all of them planted. We are 10 weeks out. No, 10 to 12 weeks out, depending on how the weather goes. So I'm really looking forward to getting everything started. So here is the other thing I planted. Um, these are herb plugs. And let me show you how I planted these. And in these trays, I've been having a hard time finding these this year. It seems like all the stores are out of them. Um, I've just got seed starting mix and I have let it, I poured boiling water on it to sanitize it. And I thumb packed the trays to make sure that the soil goes all the way down to the bottom. So now I'm going to plant some herbs. This is how I do my herbs. Um, I like to do what's called um, herb plugs. And basically this particular there are four cells in here, and I will do two cells of one particular herb. And those four, these two cells of, I'm going to do cilantro, of cilantro will become four and then will become eight. So I will have eight cilantro plants from these two cells. Herbs are very good where you can take the plant the plug and divide it and even if you disturb the roots which you're gonna if you're gonna divide something um they're still they they're very very hardy you gotta remember herbs are weeds so um 
Now cilantro, I, I've never grown cilantro because I don't really like it. But the more I eat it, the more I get used to it. So we've got pretty big seeds. So we're gonna, we can actually kind of set these in here. And what I'm gonna do is put a little more soil. I'll pat these down a little bit. And then I'll put a little more soil on top. Now this is just seed starting mix. So as I transplant, then I move them over to potting soil. So here's some Italian giant parsley. I'll take a bunch in my hand. Oops, dropped a few. Take a little pinch and just sprinkle. And then just pat this down. And then I'll put a little covering over it. And then I have a lot of parsley here because I love growing parsley. I just love to be able to walk out in my garden right before I cook supper and grab a bunch of parsley. Or if I'm making a salad, I'll throw a bunch on a salad. I just, it's one of the joys of having a garden. And if you're a cook, like I'm a cook, I like to cook when I have time. Don't ask me if I like to cook after, after work. But I do like to cook where you can be creative and use the plants in your garden. It makes it all worthwhile. I have a feeling Italian Giant and Big Italy Parsley are going to be the same thing. And then these ones that are so tiny, I'm not even going to put extra dirt on the top of them. So these are all ready to go downstairs and get, they, I'll put them on a heat mat and put a dome over the top of them until they break the surface. And then I'll take the dome off. So they are doing really well. Thyme does really well. It's really easy to grow. And the parsley and oregano is doing pretty well. Here, the Italian giant parsley. For some reason, the back one is not. And this is cilantro and that's not coming up at all. Oh, wait, what's that? Right there. So again, these I put on the floor to water them. And I had my peppers in here. That darn little mouse came in here and ate all my pepper plants. I think I'm going to have to get a mouse trap. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that mouse. He's being a bad mouse and I don't have a cat to get it. My cat, my cat was a really good mouser. So um, I don't know, but it makes me mad because now I have to replant all my pepper plants. That's going to take a while. So, oh well, the life of a gardener. You just have a few setbacks and you deal with it. So, all right, what else do I want to show you? Oh, I know. Hold on a second. You can see my tomato plants. I keep raising and raising and raising up these lights. And they're growing so fast. However, they are not producing any fruit. And by this point, 
these plants should have produced fruit. And as far as the cucumbers go, the fruit is just not getting any bigger. Now one of the things I tried was I tried increasing the time that the lights were on. So I went from 12 hours to 18 hours, figuring that would give them uh, ample time to produce some fruit, but they are not producing any fruit at all. So I think what I'm gonna do, and I hate to do this, I think I'm gonna take this stuff out. I might save the pepper plants, and I think that these lights are just not providing the right kind of light for the fruit to grow. So I'm gonna have to do some research and you know I just I don't want to take them out but they're not producing anything it's just a waste of time for me. I have other things that I can be putting my time into especially now that I have to regrow all my pepper plants and um, we will just basically start over next fall because I really would like to have a tomato plant that grows inside all winter long. That was my goal. So I'll have, between now and then I'll do some research but for now I think I'm going to stop this experiment and call it a big fat failure. Oh well. You live and learn. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, one of the things about gardening is you always get a chance to start over. And if you don't get to start over this year, then you get to start over next year. But fortunately, it's early enough that I can start over now. Um, so I'm going to take some of these plants and give them a little bit of sun today. It's a very sunny day out there. And um, before you know it, they'll be out there permanently. So I hope you enjoy your day today. And always remember, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.